On Valentine's Day, hearts can shatter. But when one thinks of a Marine's heart, one thinks of the heart of a lion. A person with exceptional courage and bravery. A Marine's heart is built for endurance. When it comes to defending a nation, endurance is vital because there are no days of rest. The Marine's heart is scarlet and gold. The scarlet represents the bloodshed by Marines who have defended our country. The gold shows the world how bold they are. Gold in the heart implies a purity and loyalty to its unit that is conveyed in the expression Semper Fi. So you're probably asking yourself what the Marine Corps and Valentine's Day have in common. Well for me, the Marine Corps and Valentine's Day converged on 14 February 1990 in a Marine Corps history class. While learning things like who is the first Marine Corps aviator, which is one I still remember to this day. It was Lieutenant Alfred A. Cunningham. Anyway, a captain who was teaching the class realized it was Valentine's Day. Not letting an opportunity slip by to demean one of the pukes, he started to plant a seed in our minds that a Jody was moving in on our women at home. For those who haven't ever marched on a Marine base, a Jody is slang for a man who becomes the lover of a Marine's girl while the Marine is serving his country. Essentially, they replace the Marine and often the Marine will get a Dear John letter. The Dear John letter is synonymous with any letter a serviceman gets from his girl informing him that the relationship is over. Anyway, as the captain was planting the seeds of doubt, he decided to ask Charlie Company if anyone had received a Dear John letter. After the question was posed, one brave man raised his hand. And when he did that, I will forever remember that bantering between him and the captain, even 33 years later. The back and forth went something like this. Looking at the man who raised his hand, the captain said, So, you got a Dear John letter. And the man from Charlie Company said, Yes, sir. The captain then said, Well, are you sad? And the man replied, no, sir. The captain, staring at the man more intently, said, what's the matter? Didn't you love her? And the man in our company said, I do love her, sir. The captain then said, well, now I'm a little confused. You still love the woman who pissed on your heart on Valentine's Day? The man in response to that said, she didn't piss on my heart, sir. Finally, the captain, probably believing this guy was not giving up on a cheating woman from back home, said, How many Dear John letters do you have to get before you cut this girl out of your life? The brave man from Charlie Company summed things up in a risky manner by saying, Sir, I've gotten many letters since I've gotten to this base, and my girl always starts the letter by saying, Dear John because John is my name, sir. And that's the only moment, a short moment, on that base that I had ever heard laughter. The captain almost looked at him admiringly, probably thinking he got me good on that one. My thoughts were that I wouldn't want to be in that guy's boots when he goes back to the squad bay. Although we were in the same company, I never found out what happened to that guy 
because we were in different different platoons. Anyway, good luck to all you hard chargers out there. You deserve good fortune for being the lifeblood of this country. And may you never get a Dear John letter. Institute crew, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, continue, continue learning by watching, watching more AI, AI videos. videos.